Meet the elite of the Hellfire Club and then enjoy their luxurious looks. Hi, I run the inner circle. I'm Lorraine. And I smell of fresh mahogany. I'm Langston. Mm, and this is Earth's Mightiest Show presented by BioWorld. I hope you're all feeling nefarious today because we are playing with Hellfire. Or more specifically, the Hellfire Club, the X-Men's most influential and affluent foes. What, what's that? You don't, oh, you don't know the Hellfire Club? Well, don't you worry. We've got you covered. You don't know the Hellfire Club? Well, sit right back, darling, and get ready to meet the elite. Founded as a 1700s British gentleman's club, this exclusive group has evolved into a shadowy collection of the most powerful and morally corrupt men and women with chapters all over the world. But one does not simply waltz into the Hellfire Club. Like any high-class social organization, you inherit or have enough power to be seduced in. Within the club, there is a mutant inner circle that's pulling all the strings, including iconic leaders like the energy-absorbing billionaire Black King, Sebastian Shaw, and the psionic psychic ice queen, <clears throat> I mean, white queen, Emma Frost. Like a game for world domination, the inner circle takes on monikers of high-powered chess pieces by rook or by crook, mostly by crook. Trust me, it's good to be the king or queen or bishop or you, you get the idea. And though their playing pieces are black and white, they live in a moral gray area, willing to backstab even the people closest to them to gain power, influence, and cold, hard cash. The Hellfire Club first came to clash with the X-Men when they began recruiting the same young mutants as the Xavier School. When Jean Grey, you know the mutant known for embodying the cosmic entity known as the Phoenix, proved to be a powerful match for their Emma Frost, Jean just had to be theirs. So the Black Bishop, aka the mind-bending Jason Wingard, began playing with her mind. His reality-bending influence sent her spiraling, thinking she was his Black Queen, and forcing her eventual transformation into the Dark Phoenix. Fabulous! <laughs> Until she played his mind. And as the decades have rolled by, the inner circle has grown, changed, and had its own internal power struggles. Imagine welcoming new members like the co-white kings Magneto and Storm, Selene, the Black Queen, Damon Hellstrom, the White King, Emma Frost ascending to the rank of Black King, and Jean Grey's clone Madeline Pryor as the Black Rook. Because if you can't have Jean, just use her genes. Because bad is in this team's DNA. The power of the Hellfire Club simply cannot be contained. Now run along, darling, because you do know the Hellfire Club. All right, sign me up for high society. I'm ready. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Even with the murders? Yeah, that's, sure. that's half the fun, Lorraine. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, you guys should be sure to read about the new Hellfire trading company in the Dawn of X tie-in Marauders. Issue one and number two is out this week. All right, so check this out, y'all. Led by Captain Kate Pride and funded by Emma Frost and the Hellfire trading company Marauders Storm, Pyro, Bishop, and Iceman sail the seas of the world to protect those hated and feared. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I like that. <laughs> it's a uh, piratey X-Men goodness. What could be better than that? And that roster's so delicious. Stack. Chef's kiss. <laughs> uh, well, listen, they may be villains, right? The Hellfire Club, but honestly, you kind of got to love them. I mean, they're a secret club. Mm -hmm. Powers. Mm -hmm. High-end fashion. Yes, they are <laughs> serving Luke's. And that's because they dress for the job that they want, not the job that they necessarily have, which is running the world. Yes. Or they're working on it. <laughs> it's work in progress. It's all steps and plans and machinations. Now, maybe you don't want to rock a black tie and evening wear to the supermarket. Maybe you do. That sounds cool. But hey, our friends at Heroes and Villains have a way for you to show your flair for the Hellfire Club. Yeah, I mean, as you guys can see, we're already rocking these awesome Hellfire shirts. And while you've already seen the business in the front, uh, I think we should show them the party in the back. Yeah, check it out. Let's check out the, the back of the sweet shirt. Now, as you can see on the back of Lorraine's shirt has the Hellfire Club symbol like I have here on the front of my shirt. Now, Lorraine, Rain, let's switch it around. What do I have on the back of mine? Oh, well, as you guys can see, the iconic chess pieces, including the bishop, the queen, the king, uh, that are, you know, the members of the inner circle. Because, hey, you can't have a high society without uh, chess. <laughs> it's true. And uh, exclusivity. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, well, hey, and plus at the bottom it says, Fais ce que tu voudras, which means do what you want, which is pretty, it's a perfect catchphrase for secret society. Do what you want. And of course, 
There's the Phoenix because of the Hellfire's instrumental role in turning Jean Grey from the Phoenix into the Dark Phoenix. Yeah, plus I love the little detail of all of the stars because the Phoenix is a cosmic entity and the little uh, triangle circles because it's like the inner circle and it kind of like looks like the Illuminati or the occult, but obviously also the innermost circle. Ooh, now maybe you like headgear. Surely the Hellfire Club, they have top hats and stuff, but that's also a little bit much. So how about this dope hat with the Hellfire Club symbol? Oh, Lorraine, check out this suede brim. Ooh, yeah, it's so soft. It's, it's worth nice. it enough just to hold on to this, it's so nice. And also uh, my favorite little detail, that mantra, do what you want, embroidered under the brim, stealth style. It's secrets. So fun. Also, you know that I am super pin obsessed and I really dig this highly detailed Hellfire symbol enamel pin. It is one of my favorite things. I love a good enamel pin. But if it's a secret society, you wouldn't want to put the pin. We'll, we'll talk I about it. I want people to know Langston. <laughs> Listen, hey, you can totally join our inner circle and do what you want. Grab your own Hellfire clothes from heroes and villains at heroesvillains.com. Uh, you know what? I for sure feel that I belong now in a club whose members are identified as chess pieces. I oh. feel like now I'm ready. I see it. Yeah, and I spend a lot of time in front of fireplaces. So you're a shoe in <laughs> Tell us your favorite member of the Hellfire Club and hashtag Earth's Mightiest Show. Mm -hmm. See you next time. I'm Lorraine. And I'm Langston. And this is Marvel. Your universe. Thanks for watching Earth's Mightiest Show. If you like this, like this, leave us a comment and subscribe to the Marvel channel. Then ding that bell to get updates about new episodes and then click the box over there to watch our last episode. Now Lorraine, what a uh, game piece would you be if you have to join a secret society? Uh, a rook, cause I'm a rookie at playing chess. I am not good. <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll work on it.